The Purchasing Chessboard has been around for 12 years now. And the book is now in its third edition. It has been published in English, German, Chinese and Arabic. Hundreds of thousands of companies around the world and across all industries are working with it. Yet, it has its downsides. It is relatively complex and you kind of need to read the book to fully understand it. And in today's world of short attention spans, that may be asking too much. So in this video, I'm going to show you a way to jumpstart the purchasing chessboard. Let's get started. The instant purchasing chessboard has the objective of making it really simple, easy to understand and to deliver quick results. Here's how you do that. First, we forget about the entire left half of the purchasing chessboard. You only really can do fast things if you enjoy decent and above average demand power. Working in the area of low demand power always is time consuming. So let's forget about the left half of the chessboard and focus on the right half. But even in the right half of the chessboard, we still have 32 methods. So this still feels complex and requires a lot of reading and attention span. So let's boil it down to just one representative method per remaining quadrant. Remember, the bottom right quadrant is where you enjoy high demand power and you can choose from many suppliers with low supply power. And ideally, in such a situation, you just prescribe or even dictate a price to a supplier. The method that best represents the bottom right quadrant, in my view, is G2, cost regression analysis. And what you do here is that for a category of products, you simply collect specifications and prices and throw all of this into a multivariate regression model. And if you don't know how to build such a model, turn to a business school graduate for help. All of them had to do it for coursework. The model will determine which of the specifications are actually cost drivers and then deliver a graph like this one. It compares the actual price to the expected price. Every point represents a product and every point above the regression line is too expensive. And this works best if you can highlight the supplier you're talking to. Typically, this is quite effective as it unveils the pricing inconsistencies all suppliers have. The supplier salesperson can take this back to headquarters and will have a good rationale why your prices need to be adjusted and reduced. Now this still may feel cumbersome as it would require you to have lots of face-to-face -face negotiations. Well, there's a way to speed this up even more. You can run the, regression, the cost regression. You can get the average cost down demand by supplier. You send a letter to the suppliers informing them about the logic of cost regression analysis and inform them about the cost down ask. And you send them a response form like this one. They can either agree to a price adjustment by a certain date or they can officially inform you that they don't agree, but that going forward, they will engage in open book cost audits with you. This is super effective and you always win. Most suppliers will shy away from open book and grant you a cost down. And from those that prefer open book, you learn a lot about industry dynamics. Okay, so let's take a look at the top right quadrant. Remember, this is where you enjoy high demand power and are dealing with suppliers that also enjoy high supply power. Approaching those suppliers with cost regression analysis won't do much good. You need their cooperation for finding a win-win solution. 
You can only really get savings from them if they also benefit from it. The method that best represents the top right quadrant is H6, collaborative cost reduction. In collaborative cost reduction, you provide a logic tree to suppliers like the one shown here. Then you ask them to go through this logic tree in a diligent way and come back to you with quantified savings ideas. Now again, this may feel cumbersome and time-consuming time to you. And as discussed a couple of minutes ago with cost regression analysis, we have a plan to speed this up with a response form. In the response form, the supplier can either agree to provide meaningful cost reduction ideas in an 80-20 mindset within two weeks, or inform you that assisting you in becoming more competitive is currently not their top priority, but that they're willing to engage in open book, book cost audits with you. And here, we have never seen suppliers choosing the second option. So in summary, we have seen that this instant purchasing chessboard is a great way of getting acquainted with the overall logic and approach and of having immediate tangible results. Suppliers in the bottom right quadrant will give you immediate savings resulting from cost regression analysis. Getting savings from suppliers in the top right quadrant with collaborative cost reduction will take a bit longer, but you will have a solid stream of improvement ideas that will ultimately translate into savings. Of course, this instant or quick and dirty application of the purchasing chessboard is no substitute for the real thing. But getting instant satisfaction from two methods representing two, two quadrants may whet the appetite for 64 methods in four quadrants. Now, I would like to hear from you. Do you find the purchasing chessboard complex and requiring too much attention span? Or do you find it intuitive and easy to learn and teach? Let me know in the comments down below, and I would be more than happy to engage in a dialogue. Thank you for watching, and stay safe. Bye.